What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another Resume Review Saturday. If you don't know what that is, basically every Saturday I review resumes that are sent in by you guys, the viewers. If you want to send yours in, the well, my email is in the description below. So go ahead and send me your resume and then I'll review it when, uh, when I get to it. So I try not to do too many resumes every single video because the videos can get kind of long, but generally they're just my thoughts of additions and modifications that you can make to your resume so that you can get the job that you want. Having said that, we have three resumes to review today, trying to shorten down the video lengths a little bit for, for this. Um, we're really close to 20,000 subscribers, guys. I just want to preeminently say thank you. I think I need like 80 something people to reach the 20,000 subscriber mark, but it's absolutely insane. Even though the growth has been slowing down, I've been kind of rethinking and coming up with different content ideas, maybe Cinematic Sunday, Fitness Friday. I don't know why the word has to match the day of the week, but you know, something like that, just to kind of mix up the content a little bit, because um, making videos every single day about coding can eventually get exhausting. Um, not that I'm exhausted, just that the content and the topics itself can be exhausted, especially when I'm not an expert or don't have experience with certain stuff. Now, I'm not trying to ramble. Let's just uh, jump into this video. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you to the patrons that support this channel. We have Louise, the Martifi, Vlaslo, DJ Richie, Craig, Armand. I appreciate all you guys and everything you guys do. Uh, if you've ever considered don to donating to some random guy on the internet, you know, maybe consider me next time you do that. I would greatly appreciate that. You guys help me make these videos and, and make all this content. So I just want to say thanks again. I have a Discord. The link for the Discord is in the description below. Go ahead and click that link. Join it. I will welcome you personally. If I miss you, it's probably because I'm asleep or my phone is dead right now and I can't get to it and get the notification. So I have to actually come here and at tag you. But anyways, we'd love to have you. It's a great place. We have a lot of cool people there. Um, there's a topic for just about anything you could think of. And if you want to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button because we're this close to 20,000 subs and I would really appreciate it. So I'll see you tomorrow for What's the Trick Sunday. I need a new name for that, like challenge. No, that's not even, what else could I do? But really, thank you for blurring out everything so I don't have to do that. And we can still see the formatting that you had. So awesome. So right away, let's go ahead and go to draw. Let's go to green. Then let's come over here. We're going to need links. I'm going to need, I'm gonna need to see your LinkedIn here. I'm going to need to see a portfolio, like your personal website. So, so David, whatever.com or whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to need to see GitHub, GitHub, portfolio, LinkedIn, always up here at the top. Education just needs to move down. I know, I know, I know it seems really strange, but education needs to come down here at the bottom. I don't, I don't really care if you have a degree or not. I just want to know if you can do the job. So all we need to do, put that education down there and that will free up this entire block of space so that we can take these computer skills and just push them up to where that was initially. Let's look at these computer skills, see how these are working. So we got, mm, okay, it looks pretty good. Initially, what I would do here is I would highlight your, or underline or something so I can separate these different sections. I, I like that you have it in sections, it's good but just underline them, I would bold them. If I, Before I underline them, I would highlight these and make them bold. I think that works better, but I like that you have these computer skills and I like that the skills are organized into, into ways where I can just uh, easily see what you're doing. What you could do is maybe do uh, uh, two columns. So we could have operating systems programming software like this and then have another column over here. Maybe you could consider that. Uh, we have projects, first project, it's some small projects for programming class. Also want to add Codecademy Python JavaScript projects. <laughs> Basically, you just want to build cool shit. Awesome. So you have project one, project two, project three. All right, remember when you do this, you have to have the title, you have to have where it's hosted. And when I say where it's hosted, you need to like, you need to have this on like Heroku or something or just some static free hosted website. I, I want a link. So whenever you do make these projects, I want a link. Put it there, put it there, put it there. Then the description, make sure the description is bulleted, similar to your computing skills. Um, I would change computer skills to just skills if we're being blunt here. I think just by looking at Bachelor of Science and Computer Science, we already know that these are probably going to be computer skills. So go ahead and remove these. Um, what you could do here in the projects section is put related courses, related coursework. That's a pretty popular one. So 
we have your projects, like side projects that you're working on, and then we'd have like a little mini project section here where it would be related or coursework projects, and then you'd uh, list those as well. So any like capstones or anything like that you have at your college, put those there. We have experience, sales consultants, working at Best Buy. Yeah, you're using action verbs, perfect, looks good. Personal trainer. Uh, I would change Excel to be Microsoft Office. Exceeded monthly sales target. Yo, nice. That's good. Led individual and group training sessions. Yep. Leadership, always good. Created, customized. Yep. These are all really good action verbs, and they, they mean a, a lot. So one thing that you're missing here would be like a little description about yourself. So what I would do come over here, I'd raise this David up here. And then I would put just a little blurb below, like, um, computer science student uh, looking for work in front-end development or something, or computer science student passionate about operating systems or, or something like that. Just put a little blurb about yourself, and I think you'll be good to go, and then add these links again at the top. But, you know, for not having any projects, I like that you know that the layout, you, you're, you're going to have room for these, so that's good. Uh, when you to maybe copy the idea or whatever the end goal of it is, but make it your own. Add some stuff to it, modify it, make it different, then put it in here. Um, I mean, that's that's just what I would do. So, otherwise, this looks pretty good. So just make these changes, David, and and I think you'll be good to go. So so thanks for sending it in. We have Kyle, and Kyle has a two-page resume. The first thing I immediately notice with this Kyle is that everything is in paragraph form, so it makes it really hard for the person reading it to know if you match the job. Let's just pretend I'm hiring you and I want to see what skills you have. I have to actually sift through this paragraph and figure out if you have what it takes. So what you need to do right away, let's go for blue for modification, come up here to normal. We need to break this into bullet points. So we need to have a section for HTML CSS, we need to have a section for PHP, uh, in addition, you've been learning recent web stacks. You like to keep up to date. So what you need to do is you need to break this apart into bullet points, and you need to be like HTML, CSS, PHP, and then you do frameworks, do Ruby on Rails, Angular, JS, and then maybe Node.js somewhere in a back-end section. Um, but you don't need to dismiss yourself or show your experience here in the skills section. I'm just trying to find out if you have... I'm just trying to find out if you have what it takes to, to get the job. I, I'm not interested in, like, all this stuff. This seems like uh, something you would put in a cover letter, you know? And then another thing you're missing, uh, let's go ahead and add, would be you need a GitHub link, you need a LinkedIn link, and you need a portfolio link. So I'm going to add those up there for now. You can put them wherever you want. And one other thing is I'm a very experienced front-end developer and back-end developer, but this is something you would put into your cover letter. Um, if anything, you want to take some of this and you want to put it here as like a little summary, just a little blurb, so just right here, then just have a little blurb that says one or two sentences about yourself. I've been learning recent web technology stacks. Uh, no, we don't need any of that. Uh, I would just say I'm an experienced front-end developer. Why would you say I'm an experienced front-end developer and back-end developer? Why wouldn't you just say I'm an experienced full-stack developer? So I'm an experienced full-stack full -stack developer and like to keep up to date with web technologies. Like, that's it. That's all you need for your summary there. Let's go down here to your work experience and projects. So work experience looks good, except that you need to break these apart into bullet points. I don't want to read another paragraph to see what you've done. I want bullet points. I want you to I'm going to go blue for modifications. We need to have one like this and then another one like this and you need to be like um edited and created spreadsheets. Oh, you're using first person, right? So, let's come over here. We can't have any first person. Don't use first person in your resume. That's bad. Just say worked on or worked with web team to import products, right? So that's a bullet point. I assume if I scroll down more, there's going to be more first person. So one thing we got to do is we got to remove all your first person here, here. And I probably missed some. 
Yeah, my key responsibilities, my main responsibilities. Go ahead and remove first person, use the action verbs that are in here, right? So um, coding the main function such as, or you would have to put this in past tense, but literally this entire sentence here is just not needed. Um, coding the, coded the main function such as login, sign up, buy now. Furthermore, oh, you don't need that because that's a sentence. Um, and then I would start with design the website by hand, which involved a lot of problem solving and changing around. Changing around what? What does that mean? What technologies did you use here? So I would do the same thing again, break them out into bullet points. What exactly did you do here? Um, and then let's come down to the next one. Yeah, so exactly the same concept. Break every one of these descriptions of your work experience out into to bullet points. Let's come down here to past projects. Uh, you have cool descriptions of your past projects. Again, we have first person, remove first person. Um, this is all stuff that you can tell people in an interview. You don't need to give people the life story of each little job. You just want to say what you did and what you used to build it. And then when you get the interview, they'll ask you about it, and then you can explain this stuff. So... Um, I'm not sure what this has to do with anything. I'm an avid photographer for Passion Crystals. I don't know what that means. I feel like this would go in your interest section here. So I would take that out. Um, you're designing, developing the website, managing the Facebook and Instagram, also taking photos of products. Oh, so this is like part of that sentence. Okay, so that was really hard to know. Um, so here we go. Designing, developing the website, that's one. Managed Facebook and Instagram, that's another one. Myself along with a few other business partners came up with a night. Yeah, okay, that's great, but you don't need any of this. Um, we don't need this, any of that. So yeah, again, take out your first person here. Um, started Brink Storage as an alternative to Mega Upload. What did you use to build this? There's a better way to access files around the internet. I had the back end. Okay, so here's a, we have a formatting issue. You have a sentence going on to another page. You need to fit this all on one page. The server costs were, was an issue. The server costs were an issue. Um, and you had to abandon the project. Don't talk about abandoning a project. That's Take that out. Um, if they ask you about it, then you can tell them. But I, I just feel like you're giving so much information, and they're just trying to figure out if you have the skills to do the job. And you can talk about this stuff when they ask you about it or if you find an opportune moment. But up front, I'm like, that's cool, but can you do the job? And that's what most people are going to think. So... Education, ITQ, user skills. Um, remove the first person again, currently studying. I know it's weird to not talk in first person, but you'll get used to it. Interests. Yeah, don't put this here. Unless you unless you think that the job is chill enough and you kind of like get that vibe that, hey, maybe I should tell them about my interests and how my interests match up with the job that I'm applying to, that's generally when you'd put them. But if you're if you're applying to a job like cybersecurity for the federal government and you tell people like you like to go boating on the weekends, that has nothing to do with the job. Therefore, I would take it off. Um, this photography one makes sense because you have um, photos for products there. That one kind of makes sense. I have lots of hobbies and interests. Yeah, I mean, they they're not going to read it, and so free up that space. Qualifications. I currently have no qualifications. Take this off. Don't need that. Why would you tell someone that you're not qualified? This is literally says, I'm not qualified. <laughs> Don't <laughs> take that off. Um, take this whole section off. References, references available upon request. You could leave that. Um, okay, so for these past projects here, you abandoned the project, but uh, I'm sure you have some code or something that I can click on to, to see what you did there. 
and then design develop a website I'm gonna need a link to the website here where can I find that uh, same thing up there can I get some code or something to click on to, to let me know remove your first person add the links that you need add the summary shrink down your skills bullet point them uh, kinda like your work experience remove the sections here at the bottom see if you can fit this all in one page fix the formatting issue and I think I think we'll uh, We'll have made progress, significant progress. So, thanks for. I know that. Okay, let me let me just back up for a second. If this seemed too harsh, I didn't mean it to come off that way. I just want you to have the best possible chance at getting a job. And so, when I see this, maybe this is your first resume or your second resume. I just want it. I want you to get the job, man. So, if it comes off like I'm trying, to, like like I'm being a jerk, I don't want it to seem that way, right? This is all to help you out, not to make you feel a certain way okay so I appreciate you sending it in having the guts to send it in just make these changes and then maybe send it in again and we'll go over it again um, you know because iteration over iteration right practice makes perfect so we'll just keep doing it until we get it alright so we got Hassan alright you're okay so we got Hassan your resume at first glance looks pretty good uh, a couple things just personal opinion here I would change the font I, it's a, this is kinda hard to read um, I don't know what font you're using this looks like maybe Times New Roman or something I'd put it to sans serif maybe railway on Google fonts I don't know what fonts you have available to you but use a font that doesn't have a serif because the serif is this little tiny these little jagged edges that come off the letters of the V and the E and the T's and all that all that stuff and that can get hard to read you can see that the this part of the N is very thin so if I zoom out it just gets exceedingly hard to read this resume so first things first change your font uh, across the entire page and then uh, that'll be a good starting point we have the objective computer science sophomore seeking an entry level uh, I, I don't think you need I don't think you need that you can take that out leave that um, education university looks good but it's in the wrong position so put your education at the bottom I want to see your side projects up front so reverse places here extracurricular activities so take your education bring it down and probably put it here or take them and put them down here um, what I want to see is your skills front and center which is what you have programming technologies Swift, C++, HTML, CSS, Git. Do you know JavaScript in there at all? I'm sure you might need at least a little bit of JavaScript in there. Um, this is a slightly hard to read. Uh, I would reverse this and put programming technologies in bold and then put these over here in regular font without without a huge font weight like this. And you got side projects. I like that you include your link to it. Looks good, looks good. Um, one thing that you don't have up here is a, a link to your LinkedIn. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to see a link to your LinkedIn. Uh, you have your link to your GitHub here, but one thing you're gonna want to do is shrink this GitHub down and make it make it a clickable icon or something like that. Um, but so we have your GitHub here, and then we have your LinkedIn here, and then include a portfolio. So yeah, I can come down here and click. But what I'd really like to do is come up here and go to your personal website and see some pictures or some code snippets of something that you've done or a blog or just something like that um, the less clicks I have to make to figure out what you're about the better right because you're not going to get that long with people when they're checking your resume so other than that this looks pretty good um, I can see that you don't have any like professional experience so you're substituting that with your side projects one thing you could put in here is related courses from your university so you have skills, side projects, and then maybe maybe here you could add, or, or here you could add related courses that you've taken. So uh, I assume that you learned C and C++ in school. So you could put uh, related related school schoolwork and then just put some courses there or just something. But you don't necessarily need to do that. Uh, you have a large white space here. I think that's probably because you had a picture and you removed it. Otherwise, I'm not really sure why you have a large white space. Uh, and I would left align this over right align it. Although I know in Arabic you read from right to left instead of left to right. So I, I get that. Maybe you, that just kind of whooshed. But other than that, this looks pretty good, man. Um, keeps it simple, easy to read. I can see the stuff that you have. 
maybe reformat your skills a little bit, but other than that, it looks good. So thanks for sending it in.